on, this is Josh Russell, aka Savvy as Josho, and I hope you guys are doing absolutely very well and all that. And yeah, I will admit it has been a very long time since I've actually done a you know a proper um you know YouTube video blog. So this is the first time in two thousand and sixteen. Um, yeah, well, in case you guys are wondering uh, about this video, um, this is actually my first um uh, DIY video of how to install a DCC decoder in, into a HA scale model locomotive. And um, and thanks to um uh, to the guys at Southern Rail Models, um, Rob Stevenson. Thank you so much. Um, if you're actually watching this video right now, um, as you know, guys. Um, I've actually ordered um, two, two DCC uh, decoders, which is I'm going to be putting onto, um, onto my HA scale Southern Rail Models, Western Australian Government Railway L-Class locomotives. Uh, the ones I've actually got that, have, that I'm going to be um, uh, transferring from DC to DCC will be um, uh, Western Australian Government Railway's ATN Access um, L-Class locomotives. I've actually got three of them. Um, L251, the class leader, was already factory fitted um, with DCC. And um, last year, I've actually ended up um, uh, going around with um, getting L254 and L270, uh, originally uh, DC. But, so, anyways, on this video, um, I'm going to be doing a you know a how-to video of how to prop, how to install the uh, the DCC decoders into your locomotive. So guys, sit back, relax, and um, enjoy this video. And just uh, just before we do, just so you know, um, this one here, LT70, has already got a DCC decoder already installed into it. I was going to do um, LT54 earlier on, but I thought, uh, but I thought instead of um, jumping to the to the conclusion, I thought maybe, I, I thought maybe, just maybe, I might do um, a how-to video for those who um, who, who 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 don't have the time to read um, how to install it. So I thought just to just to keep you, give you guys a bit of slack, I thought how about I'll, I'll do a YouTube video for you guys, especially for those who are who are who are uh, new to DCC. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video clip. Okay, guys, um, thanks very much for, for coming to um, this video. Okay, now now the first step. Is um just get your um L class loco out out of your, your box just like that. Okay, now just bear with me as um I'm gonna just um get this box out. You know, take the locomotive out of this box. This is the first step of um how to install a DCC decoder. Alright. Okay, just very carefully take the locomotive out of its packaging. Like so, and just just gently just place it onto the table here. Oh, hang on, just let me uh, into the middle here, just like that. All right, now let, let's get to the now let's get ready to install sound. Okay. All right, guys. Now that I've got it out of the box, now we're gonna, now the next step we're going to be doing is um, t taking the dynamic brake um, uh, venting roof off. So what you need to do is. Is, well, for those who want to know how to take this thing off, um, you can look up on the Southern Rail Models website for more information of how to do this. Okay. Well, anyways, um, okay. The first, the next thing you do is just gently take the dynamic brakes off, um, off the roofie. That way, you, you, you can have um, access to the motherboard and all that. Um, as you can see here, this is definitely a DC only um, running locomotive, so. So what, what I'm going to be doing is, you see the chip right up here, that's actually for um for DC and all that. Um, we're going to get we're going to be taking that out, and um and replace that with um with with one of these little beauties um which is a, a proper DCC decoder. Yeah. So um if you, in case you're wondering how to um to find out which um how to put it in properly, um make sure. That this side is facing up, just like um, just as pictured on the on the Southern Rail Models website, or if you got uh, Western Australian Government Railway L Class Lyco as well in your collection, uh, look in the booklet for for more information. Okay, and it will show the information on how to install these. Um, as you can see, this is um, an ESU LCC lock sound decoder, a 21 pin. Okay, I'm going to get ready to um install install this so the first thing I'm going to do is um, 
Let's go ahead and um, take this um, D DC chip off from the top here. Um, yeah, it's going to be really hard to actually take it out by using my fingers because, um, for one, I'm actually a, a big, a big person, and, and secondly, um, taking little things out like this, taking little things off here, and fat fingers really don't mix. So, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to carefully use a, a screwdriver here just to very gently just um, tweak it to get it out just a little bit. Um, when doing this procedure, um, whatever you do, just don't put too much force into lifting it. Yeah, just just very gently lift the decoder up. Yeah, um, yeah, this is going to be a little fiddly, so just bear with me. Yeah, just um, just very gently, gent gently lift this. Yep, and do the same here on the other side. Very, very gently. And then once um once those 21 pins are gently lifted up, then this is where you can be able to use your fingers to gently pull it out. There we go. How, how's that? How's that? Now, now, you, now, the um, DC chip is out. Now, now, the next thing we're going to do is um, put yeah, put this baby, put this little arm baby in. All right. Like I said earlier on, just be sure um, this chip um, looking up. Just look on your instruction. Oh, yeah, sorry. Just look on your instruction booklet um, if you've got this like a motor for more details. Just be sure, just be sure um, this is you know facing up when installing this. So without further ado, I'm going to be installing it. Um, like, like the same when, when lifted there, just, just place it on, on the 21 pins. Very, um, a bit of a tip of advice. Um, when installing it, just don't, just try not to, um, try not to force um, too much pressure into, into the pins. Otherwise, if you put too much force when installing these, and you do it very impatiently, um, it it can cause um, a bit of um, trouble or or worse. Caught, uh, put a, you know, I'll well, put it this way, caught and cause a bit of um, trouble when installing these things. Okay. Um, this is going to be, um, yeah. When, when installing these, um, do your best to gently push it down. Like, like what I'm doing here. Well, trying to anyways. Yeah, just very gently um, put the pins in. Like so. Yep. Or well, just um, gently use the... Um, just to, what, when, when installing pins down like this, um, just be sure you don't use the screwdriver to hit the pins. Yeah, without further ado, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much now fitted in. There you go. That's how you install a, a D double C decoder. Yep. Just need to, um, just give me a second. Yep. Yep, I reckon that's installed now properly. Okay, well, now last but not least, it's time to put the um, the dynamic um, brake arm hood element back on. Yeah, so just really gently put it back into place until it snaps in together. Yeah, it, I think it may need um, just a, a, a tad bit of force, not um, too much. Like so. There we go. Now there you have it, guys. You've now there's the the normal DC to cut no chip, which is for non-sound DC only. And here's the after result. It's now there you go, guys. L two fifty four is now D double C. Without well, that's about all for the installing. Now let's give this thing a run and see how very good the sound 
of its sounds. All right, now that's all done. Now it's time to set up, you know, to, to register the decoder. Um, what I've actually got here, I've actually got an NCE power cap. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing, um, in order to ins to um, register the, um, the locomotive, first thing we're going to do is on your power cap, you go to program and and you will get the select mode menu. So right here at the moment it says program on main. So just keep on pressing right until you get to um, use program track. Then you press enter on your power cap. And, it, and you've got options which is a standard, CV or register. Um, press, you press one. And now what that does is, is it's now going to read read uh, which which our manufacturer and decoder number it is. So this is manufacturer one five one. So so in other words, it's, it's so what that means is the DWC um, power cap has um, detected the um, decoder in in the locomotive. So you press enter. And is in the in the direction mode version two five five. Press enter again. Okay. Okay, set up address. Um, you press one for yes. Okay, the short address. Um, I'm going to put in 005. Yeah, this is the short address number. Press enter. And activate this address. Yep, you press one. Yes. Now the long address. So since this locomotive is L254, um, I'm going to. I'm going to just make it easy for those for, for beginners. Okay, the long address I'm going to put in 254. Press enter. Activate this address. One, yes. Now, since that's done, now just have to press enter a lot of times since I'll um, get back to it. And when you get back to this um, number, uh, for, for, the, for the simple um, ones, you go. You press some um, program escape. Now it's all set, ready. All right. Okay. The moment of truth, guys. So, without further ado, let's get the sound going. 